Monsieur Trudeau, comment vous expliquez que GC Strategies... A... Justin Trudeau started his day facing questions about GC Strategies and they did not go away. The Arrive Can scandal goes even deeper. Let's get this straight. It's a company with four employees, a quarter of a billion dollars, W T F. Pressed to be more PG, Pierre Polièvre spelled it out. Where's the funds? The Prime Minister acknowledged concerns. All the rules need to be followed. We're expecting and supporting all relevant authorities uh, to follow up on uh, these irregular contracting and this uh, perhaps breaking of the rules. We do deliver on, on its website, safety. GC Strategies says it helps connect IT firms to clients, including the federal government. We listen to what our clients are doing and align ourselves with tech. Radio-Canada confirmed Ottawa has paid it more than $239 million since 2015, when Justin Trudeau came to power. More than half that money for work with the Canada Border Services Agency. And at least 28 contracts were awarded without competition. Whether there's any wrongdoing in, or not, it, it looks like something that people are going to be concerned about if the government is awarding this kind of money uh, over time. The numbers first revealed by La Presse follow a scathing Auditor General report into the controversial ArriveCan app. The Auditor General said there was little documentation to show how or why GC Strategies was chosen for the project and also said poor record-keeping made it impossible to determine exactly how much Ottawa spent on the pandemic-era app. The Federal Procurement Department revealed on Wednesday it has suspended all contracts to GC since last November. Meanwhile, the RCMP says it's already looking into the ArriveCan contract. Rafi Bujikan, Yon CBC News, Ottawa.